वंदे गुरुपद दम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन समयुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाशा कल्पतर कृपा सिंधु व्यवच अतिथान पावन वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोतिवाचालंगयति गिरी यत्तमहंग बंदे परमाधव बिन्ना वै तो सुदे वै पिया वै केशव सच भक्ति बदे देवी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नुरुच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशनी चदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदेय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पदम शिव विरंजन तम शरण्यीताहम पुनदुपालीपूत वंदे महापुरश ते चरण यदपल्लवन कचंदमनीटा विस्फुजीत किमी गोदूषदर्श पूर्णागर सागर सारमूर्ति शारादि कामी कदा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदान श्रीअदराधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निदान श्रीअदराधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजान लंबित भुजो कन का बोधा तू संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्षरो जुगधर्मुपाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भगार हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदी तो दीपरूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दीत भावे न सदन गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर ऋषि पवान भाग नारायण प्रिय मनोंग मदार बरासीपुरपति भजवी शनाथ वागीश जुष भदने लक्ष्मी लक्ष्मीजसवक्षसी यस्ते संगम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 भक्ति 
विलोचन सत सदैव हृदय सुविलोपयी जम श्याम सुंदर चिंतपूर्ण सर्प गोविंदवादिपुरुषम तम भजान प्रेमाजन छुरीत भक्ति विलोचन सत सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयती गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड गुरु वैष्णव भगवान गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड That Guru Vishnu of Bhagwan cannot reserve that in front of a material sense organs, he will they will not at all uh, they will reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organs, material sense organs. That much power Guru Vishnu are having. That can be possible. That is possible. And if kripa is being done. then after getting kripa that aprakrit vastu that transcendental object can manifest self manifest in front of us that can become the vishay of darshan for us that transcendental object aprakrit vastu that self manifested manifesting object automatically it will get manifested in front of us that aprakrit vastu that by our material sense organs in order to judge that it is not at all possible preman jana churit bhakti vilochane na santa sadaiva hidesh vilokayanti yam sham sundaram chintu guna sarvam govinda madi purusham tum mahamaya ek vishesh baat there is very one special point here that i want to just make sure here that the what is that special point that uh, gayatri mantra jo gayatri mantra that what gayatri mantra mata ji that to for mata ji it is strictly prohibited to chant that same gayatri mantra in that tat vishnu paramam padam sarva pashanti suryo divigo chakshurat Previously, you have to speak this first, this mantra. Before starting the Gayatri mantra. Before starting the mantra, I won't speak the Gayatri mantra. It is strictly prohibited to speak in front of everyone. That sadvastu is actually that sadvastu. Sadvastu is that sadvastu. that vishnu that param pad of vishnu vishnu ka that the actual param pad of vishnu that nitya param pad of vishnu transcendental param pad of vishnu that those who are actually pure guru vishnu actual ap guru vishnu they are all the time they are taking the they are all the time seeing the lotus feet of vishnu all the time up till this point there is no kind of disconnection there in their darshan their darshan is actually topmost darshan if there is some kind of disconnection in their darshan then that is not at all continuous darshan at all sada pashanti it is written no pashanti there is actually bahuvachan more than two meanings are there so in this param padam param padam sada pashanti suryo divigo aur kon darshan karte hai who can do darshan suryo Suryo means that Divya Suri. Suryo means that lot of people are uh, thinking this opposite way. Suryo, just you are speaking. It means Suryo means all devatas. It they are actually thinking like that. But this is not at all a correct meaning of this uh, word. The actual meaning of the word should be that Divya Suri gun. Divya means. Divya Suri means that those who have that that transcendental darshan, that that transcendental topmost absolute gyan, 
that divya gyan is there inside their heart that kind of tatva chakshu they are having they are just opening their tatva tatva chakshu they are seeing that transcendental vishnu lotus feet all the time continuous uh, connection is there and in that darshan kriya there is no disconnection that is not a discontinuous is totally continuous darshan they are having that is the speciality those that in that darshan where there is no continuity at all that inside that darshan that in that no nitya darshan is there at all that no continuous darshan is there that eternal darshan is not at all there that darshan is not at all called fixed darshan now you are getting darshan again after some times two days that you are not at all doing darshan that is not at all actual darshan that all those pure guru vishnu of those who are divya suri that those who have that divya gyan absolute gyan in that there is no disconnection in the darshan kriya at all externally that external object if you are having darshan that internal darshan there is actually lot of difference between that external external or temporary material darshan what you are having of a particular object and internal darshan by that antar darshan internal darshan that a prakrit jagat lot of lot of things you can just take darshan of the transcendental world like i'll give you one example regarding this that a blind dhritarashtra definitely he is actually blind not by his eyes but internally also by his uh, uh, atma chakshu is also blind because he won't be actually getting um, uh, he will all the time will be blind he won't be he has done aparad because of that he has done up vaishna aparad and in vaishna aparad he has uh, just indulged in that and his own son duryodhan he is not at all speaking no why you are speaking this all wrong adharma it means that if he is actually is not speaking he is silent then definitely he is also getting indulged in that that's why i am actually uh, bound to speak this word in front of you what to do i don't have any kind of uh, uh, i can't speak apart from that also just by blind uh, externally by your eyes it's not like that if you are blind externally within your two eyes you can't see but what you are seeing internally that all material objects you are seeing that's it by this uh, eyes of stool and uh, stool and urine but those who are having that uh, internal darshan that in the shastras it's already written this which are that who's inside the heart having that uh, tatva darshan that guru kripa in 100% absolute form it is there inside them that definitely their uh, internal darshan will open automatically and uh, shastras are just like our eyes shastras are our actual eyes no these are they are our actual eyes that uh, by external eyes what we can see you just tell me what we can see by our external eyes internal eyes what we are having that uh, that shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran shastras ramayan etc all those shastras are there vedan sutra that internal darshan they are actually providing us these eyes only that in that uh, blind dhritarashtra is blind is actually blind from inside only because he is blind from his heart his eyes can be blind externally but his from heart also is blind he is from heart is very very blind so whatever be the case so that uh, prabhupad is speaking that guru vishnu whether or bhagwan externally external uh, kriya what we are seeing activities we are seeing external activities that bhagwan and devotees we cannot uh, see what they are like banking babu that with the sagar they are all material they are very famous people externally in this material sansar a lot of education they are having district magistrate he was banking babu was district magistrate who has written bande mataram well you can just uh, uh, remember that who has written but these people that by their external uh, view that kind of uh, leela of bhagwan they are actually uh, making this effort to uh, 
put externally that's why they cannot go ahead in their spiritual life their their life is spiritual life completely get destroyed and bamshi das baba ji maharaj gauri shor das baba ji maharaj they have that external externally they don't have any material education but they are all the time they are actually doing the darshan of the leela of bhagwan all the time this is the actual difference that bhagwan's ras leela and this leela that leela oh it is possible oh not possible all foolish actually this is it can't be possible that bhagwan leela if you are actually making vichar oh this is not at all authentic not practical that that your whole education is full of authenticity no yeah foolish number 1 this is just foolishness that's it some some pure devotee who how much education he has how much wealthy he is and how much disciples he is having and uh, how much uh, he has done foreign trip and how much temples are there they are actually by that you cannot make this vichar that he is an acharya that uh, i am just seeing the whole madness of this whole material world i am becoming mad that so foolish they are in vrindavan haridwar wherever i went and sometimes i am thinking one one uh, uh, speaker tubdi tubdi you know it is just one kind of uh, show bottle drama drama they are doing and each and every person is actually just listening to him that uh, i don't want to fight with anyone at all i have already seen that uh, he he is actually doing the puja of some mayavadi and thakur ji has already shown that to us krishna that mayavadi puja he is actually doing and externally he is actually vaishnav but i am becoming very surprised to see oh my god what kind of uh, very special vichar they are having they are putting in front of you so that you are worshiping those mayavadis what kind of uh, speciality is there in their vichar you just show me somebody has given in uh, lecture in chicago and now you actually read and just tell me what is there in that i actually don't know what is education you just uh, show me so that some kind of vedic uh, uh, injunction or uh, instructions are given there something is there and he is actually himself used to speak this point that that in order to read bhagavad gita and to just uh, play football is more uh, by not giving any energy on there you follow the point that brinjal in the just to give water uh, to give water to the brinjal uh, tree it's more practical and that same actually he is giving uh, doing aarti to that that particular person that in whole earth his name is there and he is actually just done aarti of that particular person if i can uh, you can come to me i can give you a lot of practical uh, of, uh, proofs but the public the just to give the subscription of the public lot of uh, public if you are subscribing just by seeing this you cannot make this which are no that absolute truth is so secret and hidden that i have already discussed it yesterday as well but nobody want to hear and understand that at all nobody wants to understand nobody have this any kind of uh, uh, all actually they are doing drama that's it that don't they don't want anything from bhagwan they need from bhagwan are okay let it go what to do not at all external kriya and external kriya if you are seeing just by seeing the external web of that to some sadhu guru vaishnav you cannot uh, make any kind of distinction between them and to make his vichar accordingly it's not possible prabhupad speaking that bhogi and tyagi both are actually sakam bhogi and tyagi both are all both are sakam and both are actually devotees the it is is not possible inside them that kind of bhakti seva vilas which are that the devote pure devotee is having that seva bhav what they are having that uh, the natural vairagya it cannot come inside the heart of the bhogi not at all they can't understand that it is it will not come inside the mind of those uh, bhogis at all it will not uh, at all come inside their mind if parlad maharaj if you are speaking that parlad maharaj is very wealthy in uh, wealthy externally and he is a king 
अरे सुधामा ऑल्सो इज एक्चुअली इज नॉट एट ऑल एनिंग एनी मनी ओके नाउ ही इज एक्चुअली गुड डिवोटी ही इज अ गुड साधु प्रहलाद महाराज इज सो वेल्दी हाउ कैन ही बी ए साधु स्पीकिंग दैट इज फुलिश नंबर वन ऑल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड प्रहलाद महाराज इज एक्चुअली सो मच वेल्थ ऑल्सो इज देयर बट स्टिल ही इज एक्चुअली निष्किशन एंड सुधामा विप्र हैविंग सो पुअर स्टिल ही इज निष्किशन बोथ आर वन इन द सेम You understand the point what I'm speaking? Like Prabhupada has just made this vichar in front of us that Vrindavan Das Thakur Mahashay, when in order to protect us, he is just by prema. He is speaking to us that after giving so much proofs to you, and if you will not at all understand the glorification of Nityanand, then I will just kick on his head. Prabhupada speaking that if he is actually kicking on my head, that kind of vichar. and krishna das kaviraj biswami maharaj is vichar also there that that both the vichars are the same no difference is there both are nishkinchan both are tranadabi but externally all external people they cannot find that at all they can't understand this point at all nobody understands this point what they are actually speaking that devotees external vichar by that this cannot all these factors won't count it won't come into the actual category at all of realization at all that bhagwan is actually for all those nishkinchan devotees he is actually the actual vishay of all the nishkinchan devotees by that that false ego those who are actually just filled up like a balloon with false ego that for for devotees bhagwan naam about that no idea is there regarding that at all they can't be having that idea at all about bhagavad naam dham etc externally vichar they are actually just making the darshan of external vichar by having darshan of pure guru vaishnav then you will just get cheated external vichar having that dramatical vichar of pure guru vaishnav if you will do darshan of them then you will just get cheated in your life you won't be able to take their actual darshan that is the actual vichar prabhupad ji in upadesh amrit there one one time in commentary prabhupad ji writing nijo khudro adhikare bhakto dekhi bare jaye avashesh aparadh hoy bangla mein in bengali it's written there by prabhupad khudro adhikar ke dwara by nidra shudra fallen by chudra means fallen adhikar that so much false you are having on that fallen adhikar that by that adhikar you are by taking the darshan of vaishnav you are making this kind of challenging mood in order to take the darshan of uh, vaishnav vaishnav dekhi bare chahe avashesh aparadh hoy ultimately you will get aparadh only that's it why because by the eyes external eyes you cannot see guru vishnu at all that devotee is, is the, the a pure devotee is not a bhogi and another enjoyer also and nor a don't care just in order to satisfy the transcendental or sense organs of bhagwan he can do anything for that in order to satisfy bhagwan sense organ rishikesh sense organ only one shuddha pure only pure devotee just by the creep of that pure devotee that uh, by the actual pure bhag- bhagavad bhakt this kind of vichar can just uh, uh, can just uh, manifest inside our heart only by the creep of that pure devotee so by just leaving this false ego all the time we have to do the anugatya of guru vishnu and that just by leaving that ahankar all the time we under the guidance of pure guru vishnu we just need to understand 
वी हैव टू डू हरि कीर्तन हरि सेवा ऑल द टाइम दैट काइंड ऑफ विच आर ऑल द टाइम शुड बी देयर इन साइड अवर हार्ट एंड वी विल बी जस्ट दैट चैलेंजिंग मूड विल जस्ट गेट वैंक वेस्ट ऑटोमेटिकली फ्रॉम आर हार्ट दैट अखज विचार एवरी थिंग विल गेट वैंक वेस्ट फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट कंप्लीटली एंड वी कैन गेट द एक्चुअल नित्य मंगल वी कैन गेट द नित्य मंगल इन अवर लाइफ we can get the nitya mangal in our life jiska bare mein about which in brahm samhita one shloka i have already just told you preman jana churita bhakti bilochaneno shanta sadaiva hridayeshu vilapayanti iyam shyam sundaram achinta guna sarvam gobinda madhi purusham tum That same Govind Dev, that Parat Parikhle Akhileshwar, a Prakrit Swarup, Gun Lila characteristics, Parikar, everything of Govind. It is just to be acceptable by Prema. It is actually decorated by Prema. By Prema, it is actually getting decorated. That our eyes, what are having darshan. That our eyes darshan externally, it should be decorated with. If it is actually decorated with Prema. then only it is possible to take darshan of that sachidanand govind and all those pure guru vishnu all the time they are busy in taking the darshan with that prem netra eyes of prema all the time they are actually busy in taking darshan of uh, krishna with the eyes of prema continuously that is actually called that his group uh, guna leela is actually achinta transcendental in nature far beyond our limited capacity in order to understand that it is next to impossible to understand that leela prakrit vichar by just taking this prakrit vichar that a prakrit platform in order to see that it is not at all possible to go on to that aprakrit platform if someone actually is doing that then in that he will just not at all getting he'll just get destroyed he'll be just getting on to the pathway of failure that's it he'll be failed to do so yesterday i have just told this which are up till this point that golok dham vrindavan dham inside that we are actually we haven't went there we don't know what actually the dham look looks like brahma ji what he has saw that in chatur shloki bhagavatam it's already written by brahma ji that vichar is there already that bhagwan in chatur shloki in chatur shloki bhagavat actually speaking to brahma ji and just by speaking that to brahma ji he is speaking that my my son but brahma ji is his son only and is bhagwan actually speaking to brahma ji because jagatir krishna is krishna that whole infinity brahman's father is krishna only chaitanya bhagavat it is written brahma ji ko brahma ji actually bhagwan is speaking to brahma ji you just uh, accept this that i am speaking to you this top most absolute tat that without my anugraha without my actual kripa and anugraha that it is not at all possible to understand this tat at all absolute tat with that how i am what is my actual swarup what is how what is my dham what is my parikar everything what is my actual bhav what is my actual activity you can't understand at all just by my kripa only you can understand that just by my kripa only you can understand completely by your own uh, by your own efforts you can't understand that all by your own limited efforts you cannot understand what i am and what is my dham and what is my characteristics yesterday i already uh, shown you yesterday i was discussing that bhagwan rag marg 
दैट हु आर एक्चुअली लविंग भगवान ऑन टू द रागात्मिक मार्ग पैथवे ऑफ राग मार्ग दे आर डूइंग भजन ऑन टू दैट पैथवे ऑफ राग मार्ग फॉर दैट अबाउट दैट ओनली आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग एस्टडे आफ्टर दैट इट इज रिटर्न हेयर फिफ्टी सिक्स नंबर श्लोक What does it mean actually? It's already written here. Here, that Chin Mai Lakshmi is that by speaking Lakshmi, if you can uh, think, if you are thinking like that, this is the actual Lakshmi of Vaikunt. It's not like that. Here, Chin Mai. It's actually written Chin Mai. It means. That Vrindavan, that whatever Gopikas, they are there. They are actually comparable with the, that bhav is there inside them. That is actually comparable with that. Some Maya Vadi. If you are, if some Maya Vadi, if you are giving this Sri title to him. That is not at all good. You understand the point? To some Maya Vadi, if you are putting this title Shri and some very fallen soul, you are speaking Shri. Then this kind of vichar is not at all good to speak at all. Shri means that sondarya, that topmost uh, beautiful, that bhakti. That is the actual beautifulness. That is the bhakti sondarya. That apart from bhakti. No sondarya is there in this whole material world, infinity world, infinity Brahman. Who has that bhakti inside him? That is that only Shri is there in the. If so, if some Maya Vadi, you are actually speaking Shri by speaking his name. Yeah, you are speaking Shri. Then it is strictly prohibited. Strictly prohibited. It is strictly prohibited. Not at all good to speak like that, because inside him there is no Shri at all. No bhakti is there. No sondarya of bhakti is there at all. Shri means sondarya of bhakti. Sondarya, that kind of parakasta manifestation of bhakti is not at all there inside his heart. How you can speak this word Shri? The actual manifestation of sondarya of bhakti is Shri Mati Radha Rani, and Gopikas you can't even think under the anugatya of Radha Rani. All the Gopikas are there. That's why here that Chinmay Lakshmi is. It means Lakshmi Devi. It's not like that. It means. That, that Vakunt Lakshmi. It's not like that. Here it is not abbreviated like that. Here Lakshmi Gan means that about Gopikas. It is written that their Shri, that Swam Lakshmi Devi also cannot cross that Shri of the Gopikas. So much web of is there. So under there is there of bhakti of inside the heart of those Gopikas. That Vrindavan Gopikas, whatever they Shri they are having, that Lakshmi Devi cannot cross that of Vakunt at all. That no Lakshmi Devi has not no eligibility to cross that Shri of those uh, Vrindavan Gopikas. I have already seen in somewhere in Vaishnav Samaj also, like in Tripura, the king of Tripura, Raja Manindra Chandra. About him, if someone actually giving some nimantran or some giving some letter. Then I have already already seen in the book already 
about that that in jagannath temple when it is actually established he used to love god a lot jagannath a lot he used to love jagannath a lot there if you will just uh, write his name then his name will be shri 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 like this you have to read infinity shri's are there already there about shri larup goswami pad infinity shri is there inside shri la sanatan goswami pad is they are of infinity shri but here that lakshmi about lakshmi is actually written here me it is not at of the lakshmi of vaikunth jagat it's not like that that in vaikunth lot of uh, lakshmi varaha lakshmi kurma lakshmi nirsingha it's lakshmi narayan lot of lakshmi is are there but here lakshmi means that chinmay kanta transcendental kanta that those are actually very rear and uh, near and dear for krishna so here chinmay lakshmi just by speaking that that is kanta rupa gopikas under the guidance of uh, radhika radharani that who actually used to love bhagwan all the time and that is actually nitalila those who are all the time having loving relationship and affection with krishna and param purush means that only krishna is the actual param purush that's it just be careful on this point what i'm speaking that in this uh, some uh, love affair is there in this material world what we can see it is there is one hero and one heroine is there here one hero is there and one heroine is there in this material world and guys like this hero and heroine lot of hero and heroine are there infinity in this material brahmand infinity million material brahmand are there hero is also there heroine is also there that's why here there there is a question of ethical character if you are doing some opposite or wrong then you can uh, take uh, insult in this whole society because here lot of heroes are there and lot of heroines are there but in golok dham and vrindavan dham that brajendra nandan shri krishna apart from him nobody is the hero he is the actual hero that the actual uh, son of nand maharaj nobody is a hero in braj dham nobody is hero in braj dham only one hero is there that is son of nand maharaj and heroines are lot of there a lot of heroines are there in this there also one hidden, hidden secret because that swarup shakti is there coming from that same hero only bhagwan shri krishna in this also it's already written there in this shloka here the whole vichar is written there that full vichar is written there already this we cannot understand that externally at all that externally if some uh, external persons cannot understand this point at all there only one hero is there in golok that's why bhagwan chaitanya mahaprabhu actually swayam speaking this point there is no pathway only one hero is there that is krishna and if he is not at all feeling good and is taking the other hero it's not like that in vaikunth jagat it means that this is very that golok vrindavan i'll be speaking more prominently that uh, golok vrindavan there is only one hero present there about that it is written there param purush param purush nandan nandan krishna is the top most kant and hero and and i have already told you in brahm samhita also previously it already came in brahm samhita this all you have already heard uh, heard previously also but i think so you forgot that point what i was speaking previously here krishna is the only hero that's it and all those trees bushes branches all those are, they are chidgata kalpatru 
means here that even on the mango tree we are getting mango only in this material world on the tree of mango we can only get mango we cannot get jackfruit on the tree of mango at all we only get get mango and on jackfruit only we can get jackfruit but it is there in transcendental world it's not like that that kalpataru there is actually every tree is a wish yielding tree there in golok whatever you will uh, ask it will be given to you that is wish yielding tree and that uh, transcendental uh, 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 earth it's not like made of five elements at all the actual uh, bhumi is not like that that which are is not at all there as it is there on this material world there it is not at, there there it there it, it is not at all there like that that the bhumi is actually chintamani the land is chintamani there in golok dham it means in my transcendental in nature that uh, land is in my nature it means it is in my money wishes it is a transcendental in nature that about water if you think it is actually just like nectar water is actually uh, ne- nectar and if someone actually speaking and it is actually just going uh, walking it seems that they are actually dancing he can't stop that himself by just uh, just by walking only it just looks like that you are actually dancing and just by the actual uh, flute sound of flute everything is done by that here we have to give diplomat we have to send ambassador diplomat everyone we have just need to send in other country but here actually no uh, requirement is there here only bamshi is doing everything here flute is doing everything that everything uh, he is doing the for uh, calling everyone <laughs> only bamshi is doing everything of krishna water is actually nectar here there in the land of golok and katha is actually just singing there and just by walking there as it if you are actually dancing all pure devotees and vamchi dhwani is doing all the things and all the four directions there all directions there are jyoti there is a glamour and glamour there is no kind of stool and urid of material world is not at all there at all that on onion garlic nothing all rubbish things are not at all there wine nothing is there in that golok dham at all that param chit padarth that each and every object there in golok dham even dust particle also there in transcendental world is transcendental in nature that even one dust particle of that golok dham is transcendental in nature chit in nature that is a prakrit in nature that about that we cannot uh, even infinity brahm material brahmand if you are putting it is not at all equivalent to that one dust particle because it is actually transcendental and this is negative world totally negative here you just uh, understand this point that vamchi is doing the work of the priya sakhi just calling them and uh, jyoti is chidanand myself manifested here millions and millions of surbi cows from there that transcendental uh, flow of uh, milk of ocean is actually flowing like uh, tributaries i have already shown you one shloka also that one shloka is there निमेशार्धाक्षो निमेशार्धाक्षो वा ब्रजति नाहि 
तत्रापी समयः भजे शेतद्दीपम तमहमिह गुलुकम इदीयम पिदंतस्ति शांतः क्षीति विरलचार विरलचार हा कति पए क्या बताया व्हाट एक्चुअली रिटन हियर बताया इट्स एक्चुअली रिटन यत्रो खीरादिहि सबति सुरवि भस्यो सुमहान निमेष अर्धो बा प्रजति नहि तत्रापि समयः भजे शेत दीपम तमहम मिहो गोलकम इति यम विरंतस्ते शंतः खिति विरलोचार विरलोचार हा कति This all uh, actually detailed discussion is there here, where millions and billions of uh, surbi cows, where millions and billions of surbi cows, that topmost transcendental, from the transcendental uh, <coughs> breast milk is coming from the all the time that ocean of milk is flowing from the breast milk of uh, surbi cows, and where past, present, and future. that kind of time is not at all present there at all that past present and future no kind of tatkalik uh, time is there kal is there at all that transcendental time factor is there all the time in that golok dham you can't understand that point at all that is khandakal khandakal means transcendental in nature there there sorry uh, that all transcendental akhandakal at akhand time factor is there not khand which is temporary only nim one nimesh that very small time nimesh ardo ek palak chapak just uh, by uh, blinking of a fraction of blinking of eyes that uh, that transcendental time factor is available present there all the time that nitya it is permanently present there so all these things of this material world that bhuta dharma of this material world you can't get at all that same same shweta dweep swarup parampit i actually used to uh, worship that parampit that same shweta dweep uh, named param parampit i am actually doing bhajan of that and that same dham that uh, in this material world that by the name of golok we are understanding that otherwise we are uh, no information regarding that at all normal bonded jeevas don't have any information regarding the transcendental golok dham so the vichar which i have already done here निमेशार्धाक्षो बाप्रजति नहि तत्रापि समयः भजे शेतद्दीपं तमहमिह गोलकम इतियम विदंतस् विदंतस्ति शंतः कीति विरलो विरलोचारः कति पए that millions and millions of kosurbi cows that cows should be cows millions of kosurbi cows from them that topmost uh, kheer sagar that ocean of uh, kheer that milk is flowing all the time in that transcendental golok dham where past present and future there is no khand time factor at all that transcendental time factor all the time is present there that only maybe you are taking the half time of that nimesh still that is not at all material 
मेटीरियल थिंग्स आर नॉट अलाउड एट ऑल इन दैट गोलोक धाम दैट भूत धर्म यू कैन गेट दैट दैट सेम श्वेत द्विस्वरूप परम पीठ आई एम एक्चुअली वर्शिपिंग दैट दैट सेम धाम श्वेत दीप दैट सेम मटीरियल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इट इज वेरी रेयर टू गेट दैट दैट ऑल दो प्योर गुरु वैष्णव एंड साधुस दे नो द एक्चुअल हिडन सीक्रेट बिहाइंड दैट श्वेत दीप धाम एंड द एक्चुअल secret is there and the actual uh, purport and conclusion is that behind this the actual conclusion and purport is that that which place that jeevas that is the topmost for all the jeevas that the that place which is the topmost for all the sarva jeevas for ras bhajan to perform ras bhajan that is the actual place of ras bhajan and by ras bhajan only this place that only you can get that by doing ras bhajan only that ras bhajan without doing ras bhajan how to do bhajan that you can't get it at all you can't get this at all that place for all those jeevas that is the topmost for all the jeevas that uh, apart from ras bhajan in to go into this dham it is not at all possible to go there this uh, in uh, topmost absolute form that is transcendental in nature but still it is not nirvishesh at all it is chinmay in nature it is transcendental in nature it's not chinmay but this is not at all not not at all nirvishesh at all it is sarvishesh the actual swarup dham naam everything of bhagwan is sarvishesh not nirvishesh so krodh bhay jealousy fear moh that nirvishesh brahm that dham you can get that by that brahm you can go into brahman effulgence but for pure devotees that they are having that rasa ras bhajan that kind of chid jagat that param bar, param param brahm vastu that golok they are getting that all those pure guru vaishnav those who are doing bhajan like that that in actual that uh, atyant vishuddh that topmost transcendental and which is pure absolute pure how you can sp- speak that that it is the absolutely pure uh, pure place how you can how you can speak that what is the reason the actual answer behind that it is so much pure so much pure that you can't even uh, uh, can't even go up till that point this is that is the extreme point normally you can't go there by your material efforts that's why that place for all the jeevas this is the top most uh, for all the jeevas and by it is actually uh, getting uh, feature to all the jeevas by ras bhajan only those who are doing ras bhajan who are established in ras bhajan kom krodh bhay moh all these three kind of things by that you can get brahman effulgence you can get oneness with brahman but according to the actual vichar of the devotees that chid jagat uh, par brahma vastu that uh, <clears throat> top most to golok dham you can get that by the association of sadhus and pure devotees pure devotees and sadhus that according to their what is their vichar they know only and all those devotees they are actually according to the rasa that they are actually entering into the chit jagat that par brahm vaikuntha vastu that they are getting golok vrindavan by that according to their ras bhajan and ras status what they are getting in taste for krishna and that this is the actual which are of pure devotees ekdam vishuddha that topmost vishuddha bhav that topmost vishuddha tat is that's why this uh, dham is called shweta deep it is actually indicated by shweta deep that place but actual we by actual which are that is the topmost extreme pure place where our limited capacity cannot go that we are speaking it as shweta dweep termed as shweta dweep here in this material world that those who are getting that param rasa siddhi in this life only in this material world presently those who are getting uh, in this present world that uh, they are getting the topmost rasa siddhi the topmost rasa siddhi they are getting they are getting that these people these bonded jeev these jeevas 
that they are actually getting uh, established in Golok Vrindavan. It means they are not at all feeling any difference between Shwetadip and Golok Vrindavan Dham. They are not at all uh, doing any kind of uh, difference between Shwetadip and Golok Dham. Those who are getting the topmost charam bhakti siddhi and tasting the topmost rasa, they only cannot differentiate between Shwetadip and Golok Dham. That inside this material world only, that they are not at all differentiating between that Shweta Dweep and Golok Dham. They are, they can easily they can understand the Shweta Dweep Tattva in both Golok Dham and Navadweep. It means Gol- Golok Vrindavan and Navadweep has no difference at all about this uh, Shankar Bhagwan speaking to Devi Maya. That same Shweta Dweep, that same, that same, it Dham, in this material world, it is very rare, we can understand that, that all those very rare Sadhu Kuru Vaishnav, they can only believe that, and they can feel that, that mostly in this material world, mostly bonded Jeevas, they don't have any this kind of vichar or idea inside them, they can't make this kind of vichar at all about the Sheta Dweep and the Golo concept that those who are in this material world those who have got the topmost Charam Bhakti Siddhi in their life they have tasted that tra- transcendental rasa of Golok Dham those Jeevas, those pure Guru Vaishnav only can uh, can uh, see the Sheta Dweep Tattva in both Golok, Gokul and Vrindavan Tattva all the same that is actually titled as Golok in front of all the devotees and in that same Golok Dham that Chid Visheshgan that Kanta Kanta that land that all mountains, peaks, bushes whatever there in the Golok Dham it is all transcendental in nature that all water whatever you can find in uh, Katha, all sorrow, distress, happiness, unhappiness, different, different kind of things you can see that uh, that for Chatushloki, that different, different kind of uh, Kala you can taste and different different uh, kind of characteristics and qualities you can see and just like nectar flowing the, all the time it is transcendently flowing that uh, transcendental uh, time factor is there all the time present there in Golok Vrindavan Dham and Ved and Puran what is rare written that in Tantradi etc also Pancharatras etc it is written in the Shastras it is uh, about the glorification of Golok Dham. It's already written there. Sometimes directly or sometimes indirectly or very secretly so that you can't, bonded jivas can't think of that at all. That in Chandogya Upanishad also it is written. What's written there? Javanoba Oyoma Kasus Oyoma Kas Oyom Akasastu Mashow 
that whatever which are we are making everything is uh, inside uh, the inside bhagwan only whatever do which are you are doing the actual purport and conclusion is that the actual purportful conclusion is that that in this material world whatever kind of different diversities and categories we can see in this material world it is all and more than more and more above that that kind of speciality in golok dham you can find whether in this material world you cannot find that at all what is there in golok vrindavan dham that in this in the transcendental world that speciality of the transcendental chit world that the actual speciality of the transcendental world is what it is it is actually samahita but uh, in this material world that speciality in this material world you cannot compare that with is it is not with the transcendental world at all there is no comparison at all the actual conclusion is that the material world that whatever kind of uh, diversity and uh, speciality you can see this all sp- diversity and speciality and it is more than uh, more than uh, that it is there in golok dham you cannot compare that with a uh, golok dham at all because it is transcendental chit in nature and it is material and permanent uh, tra- tra- temporary in nature but that time factor in this material world there is speciality and diversity what you can see this kind of happiness and distress it's all uh, khand it's all temporary that by shuddh bhakti by shuddh bhakti samadhi only by by which in bhagwat ji mahapurana it is already written brahma ji maharaj about brahma ji maharaj we can see and about vyas dev ji maharaj also it is written we can see there in bhagwat ji mahapuran brahma ji also doing that shuddh samadhi bhakti samadhi and about ved vyas ji also it is written there apashyat purusham purnam mayancha tadva swayam jaya sanmahit jivah atmanam trigunatmaka paro api manuti anartham paro api manuti व्यासदेव जी हैज जस्ट वेंट इन टू समाधि एंड कैन सी द दर्शन ऑफ Uh, maya devi and krishna both in that pure bhakti samadhi samak pranita mane bhakti yogena manasi bhakti yogena manasi samak pranita mane apashat purusham purnam mayancha tadavasaya jaya sanmahit jiva atmanam tigunatakam paro api manate anartham so this uh, transcendental world what's the speciality there how we can uh, give the understanding to others it is very very difficult and it is very surprising thing which is uh, out of our realization but uh, for by the grip of guru vishnav we this can uh, become the uh, point of realization for us and this in this transcendental world that kind of uh, and in this material world and transcendental world that it all is actually distress and happiness uh, distress and sorrow f- full of sorrow in material world yeah, that bhakti vinod thakur also has written kirtan regarding this very nice nice kirtan bhakti vinod thakur has written with full realization janmo hoilo pori maya jale ittadi kirtan likha etc all these kirtan bhakti vinod thakur has written and uh, sanskrit kirtan also work bhakti vinod thakur writing there actually it is written jana jeevan jovan ye jo kirtan hai isme likha hai it is already written there in this kirtan nahi nit to sukham 
This is you will get the topmost destruction by this kind of happiness and distress what you are getting in this material world. This is all destructible. This Bhakti Vant Thakur has already written. It's already written there in the Kirtan. So this material world, whatever kind of uh, features or speciality, diversity you are, there, you are th uh, seeing, it is actually having relationship with some material material uh, activity every action you will be get equal and opposite reaction but in transcendental world this kind of uh, feature is not at all there that if uh, distress is also there in transcendental world still it is full of anand in transcendental world if there is some unhappiness on distress it is also full of anand and uh, this uh, then the time factor and uh, it's all chidanandamai and should the bhakti samadhi by that which we are in Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran from the first canto what I, example I have given of Ved Vyas Ji this example I have already given from Srimad Bhagavadam first canto so here Vyas Dev Ji Goswami Maharaj has just gone into bhakti samadhi and just by that bhakti samadhi chakshu Vyas Dev Ji Maharaj is just getting deep into that uh, transcendental uh, darshan of Krishna. After that, he can just take the darshan of Bhagwan. So, Bhagwan can be seen, definitely. Bhagwan, Bhagwan Dham, Bhagwan's uh, effulgence, Bhagwan's uh, characteristics, and his uh, service Swarup. Everything, especially that Maya in a very shy, shy and shameful mood, uh, just going at the back of Krishna, he is taking darshan of Maya Devi, Vyas Ji Maharaj. That pure devotee samadhi, by pure, de by pure bhakti samadhi, that Ved and Vedita Sadhus Guru Vaishnav, they are actually, they are actually getting that pure Shuddha Chitta Vritti inside their heart. And it is not that it is outside the dham, like in the uh, starting already I have just told you. What is it? That is the actual explanation. That with Shuddha Chitta Vritti they are focusing on to the same dham of Bhagwan. About this I will be just telling you later. That all those pure Guru Vaishnava and Sadhus, by, they are taking that Shuddha Bhakti Samadhi that Ved Vedodit or Srimad Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran whatever is, it is comparable to that that what is actually special and diverse is there in Srimad Bhagavatam all those pure devotees that with full uh, Shuddha Chitta Vritti they are taking that and they are they can see that Sri Dham very easily that is why Bhagavan speaking in Sri Chatushloki Bhagavat that by your own power and capacity that my Swarup and my Dham you cannot see at all. That by my Anugraha only it is possible. By your own material efforts, personal efforts, it's all useless. And in the first luck also Bhagavan speaking. You just accept that. It means that all all kind of false ego by just uh, 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 dumping that away your false ego only you can see my dham your material personal efforts whatever material personal efforts or false ego you are having that uh, that this transcendental body and whatever uh, related to this your body like money power man power family tradition highness whatever is you just need to throw that away you just need to dump that and throw that away in order to take my darshan. Just like stool and urine, you just need to throw that away and after that you just need to go forward. Otherwise, it is not possible to attain. That by Shuddha Bhakti Samadhi, that Ved Budit Shuddha Chitta Vritti, that, uh, that Shuddha Chitta Vritti, by that only pure Guru Vaishnava are just seeing their Sri Dham. Dham can, 
कैन बी सीन डेफिनेटली धाम इस यू कैन सी दैट ईजिली रूप सनातन जी गोस्वामी पाद रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी दैट जस्ट बाई ओपनिंग देर आईज ऑल्सो दैट विथ फुल ओपन आईज दे कैन सी दैट ट्रांसीडेंटल धाम दैट इज ऑल ट्रांसीडेंटल विश है वेदर यू आर सींग धाम आर नॉट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल बिकॉज विदाउट गुरु कृपा यू कैन नॉट सी धाम एट ऑल दैट बाय दिस लॉजिकल इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू कैन नॉट गेट एट ऑल देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स ऑल्सो लाइक दिस दैट आई गिव यू वन डिटेल रिगार्डिंग रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी वन एग्जाम्पल दैट दैट इन मानसी गंगा कृष्ण दास बाबा जी महाराज देर टू एग्जाम्पल्स आई गिव यू इन दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड आई गिव यू थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स ओके सो एंड ऑफ द कमा कामा गाँव सिद्ध बाबा ही इस कृष्ण दास बाबा महाराज ऑफ कामा ही यूज टू डू देयर भजन इन कामा एंड आई ऑल्सो यूज टू गो एट एटी फोर क्रोस परिक्रम देयर आई यूज टू स्टे देयर एट द सिद्ध बाबा एट कृष्ण दास बाबा देयर वेयर इट इज ही इज नॉट एट ऑल इन गोडिया संप्रदा बट स्टिल बट वॉट एवर इज द केस वॉट वी कैन डू इन दैट दैट स्टिल इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टे वेयर टू स्टे देयर इन कामा सो दैट सिद्ध बाबा कृष्ण मैन बलराम दैट वाइल एट द टाइम ऑफ गोचार एंड लीला दे केम टू बाबा सिद्ध बाबा एंड देयर दे आर एक्चुअली कमिंग एंड स्पीकिंग दैट बाबा यू हैव वाटर दैट यू गिव मी वाटर प्लीज वी आर वेरी थर्स्टी बाबा एक्चुअली गिविंग वाटर टू कृष्ण एंड बलराम एंड दिस फोटो आई हैव विद मी आई हैव गॉट इट फ्रॉम देयर ओनली दे गिवन मी दैट फोटो सो दैट दिव्य धाम दैट इट कैन कम इन अवर आईज When Krishna Balram, then by taking the darshan of Krishna and Balram, that what is required else in your life? That Manasi Ganga, Krishna Das Baba Ji Maharaj, is actually seeing that for Sakhi Manjris, Radha Govind, that Snan Lila, he is watching Jal Krida, he is watching. and there is very very uh, costly itar it is actually just taking in his hand and uh, maybe radha rani can come and i will be uh, using that uh, for the seva of radha rani and govind so and immediately what happened that just by seeing this prem vilas that he is actually becoming unstable for a time and his hand become unstable and his hand just got shaking and whole itar just went on to the land on to the ground and uh, all the four directions that transcendental uh, uh, smell is actually going and just by baba just by smelling that is just getting uh, down the ground and become unconscious for a very long time and people are thinking what happened actually this has happened that i i can't do the seva of radha govind because of that i am very much distressed and that's why i am become unconscious and fall down so this kind of very expensive itar this i want to use it in uh, seva of radha govind but i can't use that at all ragunath das goswami also i'll give you example so that you can whether you feel confident or not but i'll give you the example but i have this kind of duty to speak i know na everything that transcendental loknath goswami baba ji maharaj in bhajan kutir i used to go there in khaira in khadir one loknath goswami in kishori kunj in kishori kund i used to go this is all practically i have seen it is not that i am just speaking on my own raghunath das goswami path one time at the bank of radha kund he used to do bhajan there and one time what happened that all the time in chinmay leela he always used to see that and one time what happened i'll just speaking one time what happened with raghunath das goswami and shrimati radha rani that uh, the towel the towel of shrimati radha rani that uh, which we used to which in order to remove water that kind of towel that towel actually just fall down in the radha kund water and uh, and it is just going in the water just like that flow floating in that and rati manjari of raghunath das ko swami he is actually just indicating that uh, you see my i it is actually floating away she is is indicating to radha rani and he just went into the water and immediately just take the towel and he is giving it to shrimati radha rani 
that infinity leela is there infinity incidents are there like this transcendental incidents but we don't have any confidence on that what to do that uh, one uh, pure guru vishnu for 35 years in nandagram he used to do every day from the jungle he used to take flowers and with full mala flower mala he used to give it to nand bhavan to the nand maharaj mahal at the top he used to do every day for 35 years uh, non stop and after that what happened inside his heart this kind of bhav came that uh, that this kind of bhav came that krishna has no mercy he is not mercy he is not merciful so i am actually going away from nand gaon now i'll go to and when that day he st- uh, stopped making mala that day only one very small boy coming means one small boy coming to that baba and speaking baba that you have not at all taking baba mala and you are not giving me mala and then he when he saw him that he that boy just vanished from there that bhagwan came and just by speaking to that baba then uh, you given me the mala and now you are not making mala for me <laughs> so this kind of incidents lot of incidents are there like that that divya dham navadip dham all the time it's also going but navadip now has become like that that externally navadip has become so much material so much material the business has become that we can't understand or kishor das baba ji mara bamshi das baba ji maharaj that they can understand that prabhupad they can understand what actually is navadip dham but so much material people are there it's full of material people now in vrindavan still now they are speaking radhe radhe like that govind they are all the time speaking but here all actually foolish people all uh, egoistic people have come now material fully material people are there in namadeep now so this here what we are finding there's all those devotees and sadhugan they are actually taking that shuddha bhakti chitta vritti they can see that shri dham vrindavan that uh, one time i'll give you one example regarding this that our gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj he is actually at night time 12 o'clock was uh, done in the night time and he just went from one uh, part of the navadip he just went to mayapur and just by just uh, clearing all the jungle and forest at the night time and bimla prasad prabhupad actually was doing bhajan and just by seeing his gurudev and become surprised and he just uh, get up and is very surprising my baba how have you come here how you went to mayapur come to mayapur who has given you the help to just in the 12 o'clock you have just came from that forest so much uh, at 12 o'clock baba not at all uh, giving answer and just uh, laughing that's it <laughs> like that is not at all answering then prabhupada actually already understood prabhupada already understood that uh, gaur hari has uh, that uh, gorang mahaprabhu has helped him at that time it's not like no kind of boat was actually there and someone actually if called okay someone can go otherwise no particular boat was there to just cross the river the flow of ganga ab now also still it is happening it's already written श्रीवासांगन Van Raghunath Das Baba Paramans Baba who used to stay there and he was very top most siddh baba and uh, in front of him two boys from Shrinathpur came from where Shrinathpur where it is it is very very uh, far away from uh, Shiva Sangam but it is there in Shridham but still it's far away from there two very young boys came to uh, Raghunath Das Baba ji Maharaj and in front of Baba ji Maharaj they started putting question that kind of uh, transcendental divya incidents and uh, in order to get the top most rasa they used to uh, hear hari katha from baba and at the last that they got hari naam diksha from baba and in front of baba from raghunath das baba they got hari naam diksha so they they came always used to came from shrinathpur that you know narid rudradvip 
the from uh, rudradeep only it is that that side it is towards the northern side of uh, rudradeep you can go and you can find shrinathpur there is every one kind of mridang master used to come from shrinathpur uh, who used to teach khol khol means to teach mridang tabla now i can't see them where they have actually gone what to speak this shrinathpur these two young boys i used to come to raghunath das baba they are very much educated and they always used to come to in front of baba and uh, they in jab dharma already it is written there and uh, after that what happened that uh, diksha harinam they got from raghunath das baba and after diksha harinam that the bhandara that is going to happen that baba abhi will arrange some bhandara baba speaking okay you can give all pure guru vishnu coming there in that bhandara and they started arranging that bhandara and they that bhandara everything uh, all bhog everything is done in that offering is done everything is completed after that everyone all devotees they always just uh, uh, sit down for taking prasadam and at that time at that time this is not the case like that at that time if some non devotee nowadays it's like that non devotee is giving prasadam to devotee wherever you go everyone is non devotee no diksha nothing now they are doing kitchen also there you see the case just take <laughs> just take food that's it no bhakti you can get at all nobody actually is uh, hearing it what to do just eat that's it and that bhandara in that at the time of parveshan all those devotees they are doing jaykara maha prasad they govind they like they etc they are giving and it, uh, immediately what happened that at the time of taking prasadam sachi devi malini ma everyone just get uh, manifested that leela getting manifested and everything become very much surprised to see shocked oh my god from where they came she was pandit that all those uh, parshad all the wife malini devi everyone just uh, uh, came there and bhakti mr thakur that's why has just shown all uh, uh, all indications bhakti mr thakur has given each and every person is getting for not each and every person will not the darshan will not be available it is not possible to get it, uh, it is not all possible to get the transcendental darshan for every person those who are actually at that elevated uh, uh, position gurudev always used to speak that bhakti mr thakur already writing in kirtan as well that transcendental eyes when you are having that then you can see what is actually happening there in the kirtan already it is written lot of kirtan are there regarding this so this that all those pure guru vaishnav by their trans- transcendental uh, shuddha chitta vritti by that they can see that shri dham and what actually is going on there in shri dham they can easily watch that if you get krishna kripa then only this kind of uh, shudra chitt vritti that infinity dharma they can get uh, and they can get the top most association of krishna you have an understand in english hari katha also i have already told that this kind of things i have already speaking there in this english hari katha that same thing here that all the commentators are giving the conclusion in very nice and beautiful manner that whatever kind of uh, fallen uh, chitta vritti or consciousness so much dirty that like a crab our heart is so narrow minded we are that by this bhagavat prapti is not at all possible <coughs> it is not at all possible to get bhagavat to know the bhagavat tattva at all by krishna kripa only that by bhagavat kripa only that that kind of fallen chutra chitta vritti that infinity dharm you can get out of that that you can if you are just touching the infinity then only you can get uh, the actual rasa of that infinity this kind of kripa only i should get in my life so by krishna kripa on the basis of that those people 
those by the bhagavad kripa that uh, in their life that kind of fallen chitvritti or fallen consciousness it can touch the infinity ananta dev it they are actually eligible to touch that infinite then only it is possible for them to touch that infinite dharma then only they can go towards bhagavad dham that it looks like it is all the same with bhagwan there is no difference between them at all with bhagwan and the devotees and here uh, our seventh goswami shila sachidanand goswami uh, bhakti mr thakur has uh, written one very special point here he wants to just uh, give us give us one indication here in order to clarify this point that maharaj this uh, shloka in this and some uh, words are actually very clear here and uh, those who don't know sanskrit also but the other words we can't understand kanto paramo purusha kalpatarabo druma bhumi chintamani ganamai tayo amritam katha gyanam natyam gamanamopi bangshi priya saki chidanandam yoti that this paramamopi that chidanandam jyoti that's okay and after that that paramam jyoti that uh, these two words are already clear to us what is the actual meaning of that but uh, everything is uh, good i have already told you everything is good but that actual shabd that actual word like the case vaishnav ke in that in that verse it is written prabhupad ji has already written a lot of people and devotees they are actually speaking the what do you mean by that seduti khata di haven't spoken that if he has spoken that that is already good but he hasn't spoken he hasn't spoken anything and he is speaking sedu seduti khata has bolo na sarvatha he is speaking like that that commentary that one and a half years two years before i have already given by the grip of krishna and all the uh, blessings of devotees pure devotees at vaishnav ke that english uh, translation interpretation i have already given that and uh, transliteration already been done and uh, don't other people don't want this at all what to do externally all actually busy with the material maya what to do so in this uh, that two words been explained by bhakti vinod thakur like prabhupa they are actually written there that that only those two things that you should not remember that or you should always remember you should not forget those two words all all are uh, lot of things i have to remember so what uh, lot of questions have, have been put in front of me that this uh, mahajan spada in this uh, that uh, forward and back you just need to remember one thing very importantly you just need to remember one thing if it is uh, actually forgettable then uh, you can't uh, remember the actual point in that that tulsidas ji spad also there are lot of people are just uh, using it in a very bad manner and they are representing uh, representing it in a very bad manner in front of all that tulsidas ji is and others others also are doing it in a very negative way tulsidas ji apart from that Uh, what's the name that maybe they are not kabir ji they are not at all devotees but still what to do they are actually using that in a bad manner mala ja pe sala kar ja pe bhai hum isi ko utha kar and this point only it actually just making one kind of road show so much clever they are like jackal maybe forward and front they are not at all forward and back they are not at all making any kind of uh, representation they are representing it in a bad manner that's why keshav goswami param pooja baat ke keshav goswami maharaj prabhupad used to speak demons can also quote scriptures demons can also quote scriptures that asuras they also can give one kind of uh, praman from the shastras but only for their satisfaction just uh, what are their characterlessness in order to hide that completely that kind of um, um they are running like monkeys in order to just hide that 
they are actually just uh, representing each and every word of the shastra just by taking like shankaracharya ji i'll give you one example that from the vedas upanishads gita and from the very very selective uh, words and uh, verses he is taking in order to establish mayavad he is taking uh, very selectable verses from there like a lot of days before i am actually speaking ये सार्वभौम भट्टाचार्य एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द व्हेन महाप्रभु व्हेन ही वाज जस्ट डिस्कसिंग विद सार्वभौम भट्टाचार्य सार्वभौम भट्ट इज स्पीकिंग दिस ऑलरेडी इज रिटन अपानिपाद एंड यू आर स्पीकिंग फ्रंट एंड बैक यू सी द एक्चुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग सो उसका बाद क्या लिखा है एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हाट इट इज रिटन जिसका हाथ पर नहीं है हु डोंट हैव एनी हैंड्स एंड लेग्स हाउ ही कैन जस्ट रन एंड एंड हाउ ही कैन रन एंड हाउ ही कैन ईट हु डोंट हैव एनी हैंड लेग्स एंड माउथ so you this is just one kind of local word he is picking those who are actually is lot of clever like a jackal that who actually just taking the verses of the shastras they are just taking one selective verses from the shastras just to hide their characterlessness that's it and they want to establish their own absolute truth so this is their this mahaprabhu speaking this apanipad okay then it's written what does it mean actually that bhattacharya already told that the actual meaning of this is that that the the bhagwan don't have any material eyes at all that bhagwan don't have material sense organs at all bhagwan has transcendental eyes and transcendental sense organs but uh, transcendental it is definitely there it is not at all material at all it is in transcendental in nature this actually if you make a very uh, uh, very conclu- uh, conclusion then you can uh, think that uh, in deep that propad also speaking this point in deep that in the here actually what it is written what does it mean actually in order to understand that that you need that uh, transcendental tattva chakshu it is already written there no संबंध ज्ञान वॉट इट इज देयर दैट रिलेशनशिप विद भगवान आफ्टर दैट वेन यू आर गेटिंग एक्सिबिटिंग दैट देन द एक्चुअल रिलेशनशिप ऑफ मदर विद द चाइल्ड हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल how it is there with the krishna has made that activated and how we are actually mother always used to feed him breast milk and always used to kiss him from where we have just got all this kind of sanskar only by sambandh gyan if sambandh relationship is there then what is the actual duty of that child he can understand that and after that when he can go ahead what to do what not to do he can understand so what kind of instruction we are getting from here that sambandh gyan the actual relationship that is the most fundamental point what is uh, in order to learn that that bhagwan is mine and i am of bhagwan and in between nothing is there at all so whatever is there actually is all maya of course uh, bhagwan dham naam everything is all transcendental i am not at all speaking about that i am actually speaking what about relationship material relationship with mother father who is my father who is my mother who is my son in law daughter nobody is there at all it is just one kind of false relationship that's it all useless but still we are actually busy in that that's it what to do so propad this uh, actual deep vichar what it is there what what are those two points which we need to remember that bhagwan you are mine and i am yours these two words only that but by remembering that the whole bhajan we can uh, understand completely just by remembering this that whole bhajan of the material world we can understand and if you are not forgetting this point then whole kind of uh, uh, so called bhajan everything will go in water that's it nothing will remain at all you understand the point what i'm speaking this is the actual meaning of that point that bhagwan i am yours and you are mine and in between what it is there and with with full loud voice you just need to speak hare krishna he govind you just just with loud voice you need to cry so that bhagwan 
can just uh, see uh, he is bound to see you at the back who actually is calling me just like that bhagwan should be uh, bound to see you who actually is uh, calling me bound bhagwan will be bound to come to you that is called naam sankirtan by that naam sankirtan bhagwan swayam he is actually getting manifested that that's why machatanya mahaprabhu in front of his devotees he is actually speaking it's the one kind of hours and hours of sankirtan he used to do no non stop sankirtan going on why because in this in hari naam sankirtan along with that that along with naam sankirtan that sevya vastu darshan they are also getting that that krishna darshan they are getting that's why their heart is not at all feeling that okay let us stop this sankirtan no not at all that with sankirtan that sankirtan pita bhagwan also they are getting his darshan krishna that sankirtan pita is gorang mahaprabhu so he they are getting their darshan non stop so these two words what is there that these two words shila sachidan bhakti mr thakur under the guidance of shila sachidan bhakti mr thakur we can understand maybe with this vichar only this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, vichar we can end here and the actual bhakti mr thakur speaking here this actually in this pad there is very important point by the word paramam bopi means the actual chidanand uh, growth and nourishment is there that bhakti mr thakur already writing kirtan also regarding this you haven't heard this kirtan not you haven't done this kirtan hundreds and hundreds of kirtans you have to do of bhakti mr thakur वेरी नाइस कीर्तन इट इज सो दिस दिस परम दिस वर्ड बाय दैट दैट चिदानंदमय that kind of uh, growth and nourishment lot of stages are there that ram lala nrsingha lot of but krishna is the top most that paramam op that word what actually written here we can just open our eyes and and can just by seeing the actual uh, purport and result what is there just need to uh, understand with that tatva chakshu that ishwara param krishna गिवन देअर विथ प्रूफ that we can't make it on our own artificially it is uh, ex- uh, internally permanent it is he, krishna is the source of all rasa this this we will be just discussing later about this that parama bhopi by this word what do you mean actually that chidanand vikas growth and nourishment of chidanand that apart from krishna nothing is there who is top most chidanand paratattva by this word their excellency of ashadya tattva we can understand completely so it is already secretly written there uh, external people just like air it will go away from their head are maharaj what they are speaking we can't understand at all that by that word that asadya tatva that uh, by bhajan that by seva mood that which you can taste that kind of rasa that kind of asadya tatva about that secretly it is written there that in chatur shloki also about radha rani the name of radha rani is secretly they are written in bhagavad ji mahapurana also you can see the name of radha rani they are also secretly the name of radha rani is written there 
there also radharani's name is secretly there the name of radharani it is there inside the heart of govind it is already there deep inside the heart of govind all the time you can't do anything in that so that by that asadya tatva by that word that it means shrimati radharani that is govinds that uh, that rang roop and ras that color rasa and bhav of govind that i have already told you previously no in the shloka of brahm samhita this bhagwan's achintya gun characteristics are there infinity characteristic who is actually tasting that only shrimati radharani is there and the gopikas are there so that same reason by bhagwan shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu is the actual advent of shri krishna mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu this is the only reason that he has got advented on this material platform material world in order to just give that rasa to us this all shloka who will actually speak this and who will actually remember this is the actual vichar you need to understand all the time what is the actual sadhan of radharani that we go in this vishe vigra nobody actually understanding that so if we can understand that we and we can just take the steal the inner bhav of radharani that the in, inner most bhav of radharani if we can just uh, collect that that if we can just uh, steal the complexion of radharani then only we can uh, understand the actual uh, uh, bhav of gorang mahaprabhu that same uh, uh, avatar gorang mahaprabhu has just manifested himself that is the same bhakti no thakur giving a very deep vichar in this that shrimati radharani pranesh vikriti parpat that excellent infinity bhav what is there in shrimati radharani shrimati radharani is krishna ras how she is actually tasting that all the time and by this realization shrimati radharani that the lotus feet of radharani what kind of special rasa that she is actually i don't have this kind of understanding in order to understand that special rasa that krishna has to steal that inner bhav and complexion of radharani so what is the actual bhav of radharani he is actually uh, uh, stealing that krishna and his own complexion everything he has t- stolen that and after that he has taken the form of gorang mahaprabhu transcendental form or sant goswami bara also uh, speaking the kirtan that varna uh, chora that means that maharaj is giving very nice kirtan here about krishna stealing the complexion of radharani so that shrimati radharani is that uh, that prade mahima that daya mai is the topmost krishna rasa that kind of uh, excellence of rasa how realization of that and what kind of uh, topmost happiness she is feeling by tasting that uh, transcendental rasa for krishna how she can be becoming mad by just uh, taking that rasa in order to understand that krishna swayam is taking the form of gorang mahaprabhu gaura means that he is taking the form of gorang mahaprabhu govind and radha that both unification of both ara means radha so gaura that the same unification of govind and radha in the form of gorang he has just uh, manifested in front of us so this gorang mahaprabhu after that when it he has come only then we can understand the to- topmost deep tat of radha govind before that we cannot understand we cannot who can just tell before gorang mahaprabhu this must topmost deep tat of radha govind so by gorang mahaprabhu this kind of topmost deep radha govind tat we can understand before that it was not possible for us to understand that deep radha govind tat that unnat jwal rasa that kind of topmost seva sukh for bonded jeevas where are bonded jeevas and where this kind of transcendental rasa so much top most surprising tatva is there who knows that if they can understand this then they can go deep into the ocean of rubanug bhajan what is there going on in the name of rubanug bhajan nowadays that even millions of births we can get this kind of thing not at all we will get this kind of thing at all now i will be giving a rest up till this point today you just be forgive me for that i have to give rest up till this point so that i'll be giving uh, the next uh, clarification in the next uh, katha brahma samhita that in the last uh, in the last uh, step 
and the last step of Brahm Samhita is already going on. After that, we will make vichar that what to do, what not to do. You just forgive me today for today. I will be just giving rest up till today, up till this point. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochaneno Shantaha Sadeva Hidesha Viloka Yanti Yang Shama Sundar Machinta Guna Sarupam Gavinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bajami Vancha Kalpaturusha Kipasindhi Vyocha Patitanan Pabana Bhavishna Bhyo Namon.